Matters. Joining us now, Jim Hartman. He teaches AP Environmental Science at West Lynn High School. Jim, thanks for joining us this morning. Well, I'm happy to be here. Well, that's great. And and you your students actually work with Solve, right? That's right. Basically, we uh, we go out and, and work on restoring ecosystems, mostly riparian areas, streamside areas, mm-hmm. right next to our school. Wow. So just right out the door and right to work. That's pretty much the deal. We're out, I would say, about 10 or 12 times a year. Mm-hmm. And um, the original thing happened because I used to, yeah, I mean, I, I teach environmental science, and there's a lot of sort of depressing topics in that subject. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> tell me about it. I'm here every morning. <laughs> and, uh, and at one point, one of my students said in some frustration, you know, you tell us all these things, but we never do anything about it. Mm-hmm. And, and that message really struck home for me. Um, so I was looking for ways that we could partner with people who would do all of the groundwork in terms of setting up. Here's a site that we need some work done on and would bring in the professional ecologist to teach us exactly how we needed to do what needed to happen there. Right. Teach us how to monitor whether the results were, were being effective. And Solve just kind of emerged to, to play that role. We're talking to Jim Hartman, who teaches, and by the way, spells the same, you know, Tom Hartman, our colleague here, H-A-R-T-M-A-N-N, so you're the same spelling as Tom, and Jim teaches AP Environmental Science at West Lynn High School, and you know what you said, Jim, there, I, I, I think uh, all of our listeners can relate to, because we cover subjects big and small on this show in Oregon and around the world, and we know what's happening in Japan right now, and there's so many things that we feel powerless about uh, mm-hmm. And we try to be, bring solutions-oriented debate to everything. And this is one thing that we and, – and we are rightly proud of it in Oregon, Saul, because it is all of us together volunteering our time, our money, our effort to keep this state in the vanguard of environmental protection. It's something we can and do do. They they tell me that their main goal is actually building community, mm-hmm. and when I think about it, that's exactly what's happened over the ten years that we've been working with them. We've we've had students obviously in the field doing the muddy boots work of planting trees or digging out invasive blackberries or whatever, but they're working with professional ecologists. They're working with the landowners because a lot of this is done on private land. Mm-hmm. Um, they're working sometimes with city and county government. Uh, we've even had students that from this you know, group that has worked with Solve that have gone to give testimony in front of the county commissioners or the city hall or mm-hmm. whoever. Um, and regardless of one's, you know, sort of political views or economic views, everybody kind of agrees that wouldn't it be nice if we could make this habitat look like it did before right. the human impacts on it, if we could bring back the salmon, if there was more biodiversity. Um, and it's kind of a win-win-win. Jim Hartman with us. AP environmental science uh, teacher at West Lynn High School. And, and Jim, I know you told me that a lot of uh, the kids that have worked with Solve have gone on to careers in restoration, environmental science, and and so forth. It's true. And I think that a lot of it has to do with feeling empowered. Uh, You know, while they're in high school, they're learning about lots of things that are going on that they wish were not going on. And here's an opportunity to go and put their energy into making something better that's right there in their community that they can see every day, that they can show mom and dad, hey, look, this is what we're doing over Mm -hmm. here. And I think it gives them a sense that, yeah, a lot of things in the world are, as you said, out of our control and, you know, heading in a bad trajectory, but I can do something. Right. And and then they go off to college, and, and they feel that sense of, of empowerment and inspiration, and it guides them in, in choosing a career and doing something to make the world better. And and I have a whole lot of students, many of whom now come back and teach in my – or, you know, take a day and come and speak in my classes, talking about what they do right. and, and how working – in the field with Solve really helped them feel like they could do that. Right, and you can help these kids, 5032, I sound like Jerry Lewis now, 503-222-SOLVE, <laughs> 503-222-7658. You know, yesterday, um, Jim, I got to interview Ted Danson. We're going to play, we taped it for next week. Ted Danson has been an advocate for ocean conservation for about 25 years. And, you know, his whole thing was, yes, there's ocean acidification. Yes, there's overfishing. But we can bring the oceans back. It's not all doom and gloom. Get out there and do something, and we can turn things around. And Solve has kept this state green and beautiful. And as you say, building a legacy with the kids to to experience what it's like to make a difference 
and keep us green. Thank you, Jim, so much. Thank you for the good work you're doing. Okay, thanks a lot. That was Jim Hartman. He's an AP environmental science teacher at West Lynn High School.